Welcome back to the channel. I thought I'd make a quick video about my Q. It's not really so much a review, more just a description to let you know what I'm using. I use a John Paris Q. John Paris is the Rolls Royce of Q makers. Most professionals play with a John Paris Q. Saying that though, there are other options. There's some great Q makers up north. I had this one specifically made. It's got a very specific spec to it. My spec is quite unique. Did I Google Ronnie O'Sullivan's Snooker Q spec? Maybe. I'm only human. We all have done. What, he's the best player in the world? Why not Why not find out what Q he uses and try and use the same thing? That's going to make you play better, right? Couldn't be further from the truth. Please try before you buy it. I can't stress that enough. It's not about how much money you spend. It's about how the Q feels when you pick it up. Prime example, Stephen Hendry. He won seven world titles with a Q that cost him, I think, 10 quid that he bought off a rack in his club. Off of a rack. He didn't buy it from Iraq. Off a Q rack. Wherever you're thinking of buying a Q from, Go and pick up a cue and try one out. Hit a few balls with it. When you hit a few shots with it, you should just feel like that's it, that's the one. It's like a match made in heaven. I don't have a great amount of knowledge about cues. I just, if I get into something, I like to get the best equipment possible. Are you like that? Is that weird? Drop a comment below, let me know what cue you use. Are you using a John Paris cue? Are you using a different brand? If so, what is it? Where did you get them from? Hope you enjoyed the review. So I went for the traditional design. If you were to go on Paris's website and type in traditional, this is what you would get. It's got the Ovencoal West African wood and the thick maple veneer. I've got my dad's name in the badge. It's an ash cue. I've only ever played with ash cues. I play with a one-piece cue. I would never not use a one-piece now. I couldn't go back. It's got a very specific taper, this shaft. I had that unique spec that I wanted. I'm using an Elk Master tip at the moment, and that's a 9.4 millimeter Elk Master. The cue weighs 18.65 ounces. The cue is 19 inches in length. It's quite whippy. I'm still using the brass ferrule. I've not moved over to titanium yet. I couldn't be happier with this cue. I waited four years for it to be made. When I got the call saying it was ready, that was a good day driving up to London. For those that know a little bit about Paris cues, no, this is not an ultimate. It's a Peregrine. If you go on the cue builder section of the website, you'll get a list of woods to build your cue from, ultimate being the best. Mine is the one below, which is the Peregrine. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the review. Take care. So there you have it, that is my cue in a nutshell. It's actually quite close to the Ronnie O'Sullivan spec. There's a club not far from me that I've played at where Ronnie has actually practiced quite often and he actually leaves some of his spare cues at this club. So I had the privilege of picking one of these cues up and comparing it to my own. Now look, like I said before, there's no point in trying to emulate someone else's cue because a cue is a very, very personal individual thing. It has to suit you. But I get the mentality. Golfers probably want to use the same clubs Tiger Woods uses. Tennis players probably go for the same racket that Djokovic your Federer uses. It's really a personal thing. Don't spend too much money. Try your cue out before you buy it and just enjoy it. Have fun. Good luck. I'll see you on the next video.